Hello everyone. This is going to be the start of a series of videos where I show you how to make a simple sandbox tycoon game. This is not going to be, when I say sandbox tycoon, I mean a game where you can actually place down objects in custom locations, have that save, and you can delete objects. And basically, it's a custom tycoon. So it's going to be more of like a, I don't know, I'll say more of like you place down workers, for example, and then they get you money. And then from there, you can build walls or something like that and, you know, stuff like that. I'm not going to be including an inventory system for this because that's kind of out of the scope of the base sandbox tycoon. But that might be another tutorial. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to be explaining in this video what exactly this series will entail and, like, what you can expect from it and what you won't be expecting. Okay, so anyway, in th this series, I will be showing you how to make a plot system where plots are given out to players that join the game. I will also be showing you how to implement a placement system. So we are actually not going to be making a placement system from scratch because that would almost triple the amount of videos, well, probably double the amount of videos that were are needed. So instead, I have made a custom placement module that is very very customizable and it's basically made to allow for very versatile placement systems with still while still maintaining the basic idea so there's lots of settings i have videos on those and if you want to learn how to make a placement system from scratch i am making a very simple series on that but not all the videos are out yet so at least as of the time recording so I'll also be showing you how to make certain objects and make you money and how to delete objects and make it so that nobody else can. I will also be showing you how to save player progress. So how to save tycoon data. What I mean by that is we're going to be using a method called serialization to convert their model, essentially saving objects, but we're not really saving objects. We're just saving the information to be able to uh, recover those objects when needed. And then we may go into, I may go into whitelisting. I may not. I don't know. It, it depends on how much I can get done on researching that topic myself. Uh, but as of now, I'm going to say we are not doing a whitelisting system. So don't expect it, but I may do it in the future. And that'll be one of the last tutorials. This is going to be a long series. So yeah, but those are the main core features that I'm talking about. Placement, deletion, and serialization of progress. So in this video, we're just going to be getting stuff set up. So I'm just going to place down a part. This is going to be used for the plot. So. I'm actually just going to scale this out. I'm actually going to go in here and I'm going to scale this up to 120 by 120. Seems to be a decent size. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn shadows off. I'm going to make it slate. And I'm going to make it a bit darker, I feel like. Okay, so that looks, that looks good. Okay, so now I'm just going to move this over. I'll move it over by maybe, whoops. Actually, I'm going to group this. I'm going to call this plot one. And in the in here, I'm actually just going to call this plot. Lowercase p for this one. Plot one is also going to be lowercase because that makes it easier to type. In here, we are going to put a folder. So if we just go ahead and get a folder in here, we are going to, I'm just going to call this item holder. So yeah, that's that. We are also going to have some, I think we're going to do string values. The last series I did object variables, but I, or object values, but I think this is going to be string value. So we're going to do owner. Okay. This is going to be when we're setting the owner, we're going to change this so that each plot knows which uh, owner has the plot. So I think that's it for right now. Then we can basically just duplicate this. I'm going to up the stud size by 120 studs, aka our plot size. 
and duplicate this. I'm gonna move it over to about there. That looks, yeah, that looks about, that looks about good. Then I will call this plot two. And then I'm going to duplicate both of these. And okay, why is that causing so much lag? Then we're gonna call this one plot three. It doesn't really matter what order you do this in, as long as you have plots one, two, three, and four minimum. Yeah, I'm only doing this up to four plots, but you can have as many plots and this system will still work. Uh, then I'm also gonna go in here and I'm actually just gonna group these. I'm gonna put them in a folder, I think. So I'm gonna call this plots and then I'm gonna put all of these in here. So there we go. You may be wondering what this map is. It's just, I just grouped the base plate. I'm actually gonna turn shadows off. I just grouped the base plate, called it land, and yeah, that's pretty much all I did. This ungroup thing is actually the placement module that I have written, so link will be in the description to that. Okay, so plot one, two, three, four. Then we are going to create some stuff in replicated store. So we're gonna create three folders. One is gonna be called signals, one is going to be called uh, modules, and another one is going to be called models. And actually we are going to duplicate signals, duplicate it again, duplicate this, duplicate, duplicate. So we're going to do this, and actually we're going to duplicate that. This is going to be for remote, or we're going to do e events. This is going to be for functions. This will be for events, and this will also be for functions. And these are going to be for um, bindables, so bindable functions. And this is going to be for remote, so remote functions and events. All right, so that is actually pretty much all we need to do for the setup. Actually, we are just gonna put, yeah, link in the description will be for the module, because that's what I'll be using for this, and I'm just gonna put the module in there. You can ignore this extras file, it's, or script. It's not really gonna do anything, it's just change logs and how to use the module. So, the current version is version 1.2, so, it may be higher. If it's higher, that's good, but it can't be lower than 1.2. Otherwise, you may have some problems, like especially this urgent and critical bug fix. Like, So you're gonna wanna have that. Okay, so the last thing I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna create a model. So I'm gonna give you an example of how to create a model. So we are going to, oh, right, 120 studs. We are going to redo, undo that. I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna just create a simple four by four by four box. Make sure it's anchored. And then we can actually group this and call this just part. Whatever you wanna call it, just call it something. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to create another part. And I would recommend using the transform tool for this. And this is gonna be the primary part. So we need to create a part that surrounds the model because this is what the placement system is gonna to use to detect collisions and move the model by. Now I like to make this smooth plastic. I also like to make it pretty much invisible until I'm done, until I put it in models and then I like to make it invisible. Again, anchor it. And I like to also turn off cast shadow for this. And then I'm just gonna call this hitbox, all right? So we're gonna call that hitbox, and then we're gonna call this hull, okay? And then we can set the primary part of the model to hitbox, and now this is what's gonna be moving around for the object. So the mo if the primary part is any smaller than this, you will have problems detecting collisions and stuff like that. So anyway, we're gonna put that model in models. I did, if you don't know how to use my placement module, I have a video that explains it, but, and I also explain explain this a little bit more in detail, but yeah, for this video, I am still going to be going over it. So again, all you need to do is create a model. It doesn't have to be just a part, and then just scale another part around it. 
uh, using the grid size that you want. So I have it set to one stud. I'll probably, I should have done that to two studs, but again, I'll go more into this in probably the next video where we probably will be getting placement going. Okay, so I think that's all I'm gonna do for this video. In the next video, I will be tackling placement, I think, but that may change. So depending on how far I need to get in the next video, I may not do placement. If you need help with any code or you just wanna get you know, in contact with me or you wanna interact with a couple more people, because right now the Discord server is very small, then join the Discord server. Hopefully I'll see you on the server. Link will be in the description to join that as well. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully this helps. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.